Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Greg and this is Puddle Walkers Outdoors. This is day three, Cinewall tournament. Uh, this morning I was I was in first at like 80 and a quarter inches, something like that. But I believe David from uh, Country State of Mind had passed me up uh, this afternoon with a really nice fish. We have some storm fronts moving in. It's been raining on and off, so I really think that uh, this rise in the water after this long drought is going to really pick up top water, guys. All right, we're all running whopper ploppers today. Garrett's throwing whatever Garrett wants to throw. So let's go see what we can catch, guys, and see if we can get competitive in this competition again. Come on, that's a beautiful catch right there. Oh! Missed him. Just had one smoke it way back in there. I was getting ready to tell Garrett, I was like, look at that, it's a perfect cast. How did I not get a hit? Oh, got another one. So much fun with these things. Yeah, I love it. Oh, Dad, two of them you try to swipe at your lure. Yeah, you just had two of them. Show I'm two. trying to film Gavin. Okay. <laughs> I thought he's bigger than he was. You have to call a whopper. Oh, he convinced now? Huh? Garrett's convinced now. He's going to put on a whopper. I always was, all right? Little rock bass. Yeah. Rocky didn't care. Yeah. Oh, what was that laugh? <laughs> it breathed before you laugh. A little rocky for me, guys. Try to get him back over there in the hole. Got him. Yeah. Got a rocky? Yeah, I think so. Hey, not a bad rock bass either. Yeah. Oh. First rock here today. Stop it. I feel like pulling treble hooks out of my hand today. It's my first rock here today. That's cool. My first one on the water flopper day. I'm having so much fun with it. Yeah, oh, dude, this thing's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Settle down, buddy. He's barely hooked. He is barely, barely hooked. Hey. He brought it, dude. Huh? He brought it. Can I get my thing wet? Man, I barely, barely had him. See what he measures out at. He may be, a, may be good for it. No, 16 inches even. Not bad guys, it's 16. Looks like something has whopped him in the side there. Not for sure. We're gonna go ahead and let him slide on up out of here. Kevin had a 
giant following. Man, if that current wasn't so much back there. Oh my god, gang, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Bring it here. God dang it, you got me in the log. You got me in the log. Crap. You need to get over there and get him? Got him. I got him. That's the one I seen. That's, that's a toad right there, dude. I think he'd break 16. I think I got a good one this time, guys. I'm not for sure. I'm gonna check him, measure him out, see what he weighs. I almost lost him, man. He ran me right into the stump. <sighs> Crap. No. Another 16. Another 16. Garrett's got one. I missed mine. He's good, Garrett. You can do it. He's real good. I think he's good. That one I lost is Not bad at all, Garrett. Couple oh, sizes last one, Todd. Good oh, job, dude. Good. They're here. And they're hungry. Yeah. Dude, that works, uh, oh. I under that tree. We can walk over there, Garrett, if you need to, man. Do what you gotta do to try to get it out. It's up there high. We, like we can just grab the branch and pull it down. You got a, got a good one, Gavin? Yeah, I got a good one. That's right behind me. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a good one. Gavin's got a 16, looks like, maybe. Do you need me to come over and net him? Yeah, net's right there. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Got you a good 16 right there, bro. Easy 16, maybe even 17. <laughs> Let's go. I knew I had to get under that stuff over there. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, he may go 17. For as long as he is, he's not very wide, but he's long. Yeah, get that out. Well, you barely had him hooked. I can get it out if I just get a hold of it. Come on, man. Hey! <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> Watch it! Hey, there you go. Oh, my first good one in the world. Make sure you let him go back in the hole. Don't let him go downstream. Dude, look how beat up he is. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's postponed. Where you at? best one of the day. <laughs> I knew he was good. Not bad, man. Throw her down there. I bet she goes at least 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's almost a 17 inch. Is it really? Yeah, well, maybe not. I think slay. 16 and a half, though.
right guys, we made it to the back. We're uh, on our way back to the vehicle. We're gonna fish some of these holes a little harder. I uh, missed some quality fish. Haven't found anything that's broken 16 on my half. Gavin's got the giant one today for 16 and a half. So we're still looking for those 17s and 18s. David, for now, your lead's comfortable. All right guys, stay tuned. Let's finish this off. Good one. You got your 15 inch or 16 inch oh, yeah. there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Nice. I knew this would be a pretty good spot to stop. Right, guys that's a wrap on the episode and day three for the Missinawa fishing tournament in the books Gavin now has some solid fish on the board I'm not for sure where that places him I was unfortunate with not being able to catch anything that was going to uh, benefit me on the tournament but I was able to catch some solid fish for the day so I can't complain the whopper plopper definitely outperformed most of everything we threw today Gavin did find some success with the crankbait though all right, guys, that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next one.